Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Dr. Abdul Adam from Data Analytica. This lecture is an overview of corporate finance. These are the contents that we are going to cover in this lecture. We'll start with definition of finance, look at area of finance, principle of financial management, forms of business organization, objective of finance, separation of ownership, corporation and stock market, role of finance manager, importance of finance, scope of financial management, functions of finance, the role of finance within the organization, finance objective, trade-off between the financial objectives, financial markets and instruments, and finally financial environment. What is finance? Finance is concerned with the process, institutions, markets, and instruments involved in the transfer of money among individuals, businesses, and governments. This definition is provided by Eugene Braham and Michael Enhardt. Finance is the management of flow of money through an organization, whether it be a corporation, government, or non-profit. This definition is provided by Jonathan Beck and Peter DeMazzo. Investopedia defines finance as the science that describes the management, creation, and study of money, banking, credit, investment, assets, and liability. From all these definitions, we can see that finance is the study of how individuals and organizations manage their financial resources to achieve their financial objectives. It encompasses a wide range of activities and disciplines. These include investment, borrowing, lending, budgeting, savings, and forecasting. From all these definitions, we can see they highlight some of the key concepts and themes in finance, including the management and allocation of resources the role of uncertainty and risk, the importance of institutions and market, and the study of financial instruments and flow of money. So what is financial management? Financial management refers to the efficient and effective management of money in such a manner as to accomplish the objective of the organization. This definition is provided by Fred Westham and Eugene Braham. According to Howard and Gitlow, financial management is the process of planning, organizing, directing, and controlling financial resources to achieve organizational goals and objectives. While Lawrence Gitman defined financial management as the application of general management principles to the financial resources of an organization. This definition highlights some of the key themes and concepts in financial management. These themes include the efficient and effective use of financial resources, the achievement of organizational goals and objectives, and the application of general management principles to the financial decision making. Areas of finance. We have so many areas of finance, among which are corporate finance. This deals with the financial decision that corporation makes, investment, that is the analysis and management of different types of investment, including stock, bonds, derivatives, and real estates. Financial market and institution has to do with the study of financial institutions and markets, including banks, stock exchanges, and other financial intermediaries. International finance has to deal with financial transactions between countries, including foreign exchange rate, international trade, and the management of multinational corporations. Behavioral finance deals with the psychological and emotional factors that influences financial decision making. We know that human beings are rational and their decision may be influenced by biases, emotions and other psychological factors. Then we have personal finance which deals with the financial decision of individuals including budgeting, savings, investment and retirement planning of individuals. Then public finance which deals with financial decisions made by government and other public entities including taxation, public expenditure and debt management. So public finance will be calculated short in the national budget which shows the income and expenditure of government. It is also known as government finance. And finally we have financial risk management which has to do with identifying, measuring and managing financial risks including credit risk, market risk and 
operational risk. These are the areas of finance that we have. Principles of financial management. We have four principles that guide financial management. They include risk return trade-off. The principle state that the higher return are normally associated with higher risk. That is, the higher the return, the higher the risk. Or the higher the risk, the higher the return. The two factors, that is, higher risk and higher return, must balance when organization is making investment decisions. We have the principle of time value of money, which says that money in hand today is, more, is worth more than the same amount of money in the future. Then the principle of diversification, which encourages organization and individual to invest across different asset classes to reduce their risk. And we have the principle of liquidity, which says that organization must maintain adequate liquidity to meet their short-term financial obligations. So to understand corporate finance, let's look briefly the forms of business organization. So we have, we look at the forms of business organization because the form of organizing business affects one the source of fund available to the organization and secondly the conflict of interest between the different stakeholders of organization the different forms of business are we have proprietorship or one-man business partnerships and corporation for a proprietorship we say it is also known as common business that is the business owned and managed by a single individual they are normally small the scale and size are normally small and their sources of funding is limited because it is provided by the owner its relative or friends then the liability are mostly unlimited that is it can be extended to the personal estate of the owner to start the business is very simple because it does not require uh, a lot of uh, bureaucratic processes and the regulation of the business is also very limited. For partnership, their capital is normally bigger than that of one man business because the shareholders which are the partners they contribute the capital. The resources they can raise more resources than the proprietorship because the partners normally bring their resources together. The liability also could be unlimited in terms of a limited partner and limited in terms of general partner. So a general partner they only contribute to the business they are not um, involved actively in the management of the business. But for limited, no, for general partner, they are involved in the business fully. So liability is almost unlimited for them. But for limited partner, the liability of the business is only limited to their contribution to the business. So for a corporation, they are legal entities that are separate from the owners. Liability are limited to the capital contributed by the owners or the shareholders and their taxes separate from the owner since they are regarded as a legal entity. They also experience double taxation as dividend paid to the shareholders are all also taxed and the profit of the business is also taxed. So they have the ability to raise large sum of money. So objective of the firms. Uh, the firm has so many objectives but basically the three major objectives are profit maximization. By profit maximization will be achieved when there is increase in revenue, reduction in cost, improvement in operational efficiency and profit maximization objective also provide a clear and measurable goal for the firm. It does not consider time value of money. This is one of the disadvantages of profit maximization objective and it also ignores the social and ethical responsibility of the firm. For wealth maximization, it is the increase in the value of the investment. For instance, if you buy a share for one naira two years ago and the value of the share is 50 naira, the wealth of the shareholder is maximized even if they don't receive dividend or profit. It considers the timing of the return and it considers the social and ethical responsibilities of the firm. It is it may lead to short-term focus and it neglects long-term goals. Objective of the firms also includes the growth, that is increase in size and scope of the firm, provides opportunity for the firm to expand its operation, increase its market share and generate high profit. And it may also lead to dilution of firm's focus, to do a dilution of the firm's focus on its core competencies. So other objective of the firms are customer satisfaction, to look at the well-being of their employee, being innovative, being socially responsible and increasing shareholder value. Another aspect that must be looked at when we are dealing with corporate finance is the separation of ownership management. So in corporation, they involve large investors and these large investors think about separation between owners and the management. So the current owners can sell their shares in the company without affecting the management and operation of the firm. So there is always problem of principal agent relationship where the management are the agent 
agents while the shareholders are the principal. Then there is also information asymmetry the, because the information with the shareholder is quite different from the information with the management. The management cannot influence anything significantly in their favor. The shareholder cannot also influence anything significant in their favor. So to encourage this ownership is always recommended that if there is stock options to managers. There is also a relationship between corporation and the stock market because the stock market is a place where the corporation can raise a capital. If it is the first time they are raising capital, they can do initial public offering or if it is another a second time or subsequently they can do a public offering. So with the stock market also investors income cannot be tied down they can buy and sell their shares and firm can raise equity like i explained earlier so the stock market also provide liquidity for the share and the new york state stock exchange is the largest stock market in the world and stock market plays an important role as it helps firms particularly young ones to reach fund it provides liquidity for the stock also. The financial managers have so many roles to play among which are financial planning, they help the firm to plan their finances, also financial analysis, they do financial analysis to know whether the firm is doing well or not. They also help in the management of cash flow, whether inflows or outflow. They also help in investment management, they suggest uh, asset that the firm can invest in. They give advice on the types of finance that firm should use that is financing also they help to identify risk financial risk and how to mitigate those risks they are involved in the preparation of the financial report of the firm they help in tax planning and compliance in tax planning and compliance with rules and regulation that covers the firm they are also they play a significant role in internal controls and audit and also cost control and efficiency and they provide financial leadership importance of finance they include maximizing profit efficient resource allocation, risk management, compliance with laws and regulation, and planning, like I explained earlier. The scope of financial management. Financial management covers a lot of things, among which are financial planning, which I have explained earlier, investment management also, part of financial planning, risk management, and capital budgeting, that is making investment uh, in long-term assets, and financial analysis, financial reporting. I have explained all this earlier. Then, Functions of finance. We have so many functions of finance. They include financial planning, financial forecasting, financial budgeting, investment decision. Investment decision is similar to uh, capital budgeting, that is making decision on long term on investment in long term assets by comparing the returns against the outflow or the investment in those assets. And also financing decision whether to use debt or equity in financing the firm's operation, tax planning and compliance clients, ethical and social responsibility, and treasury management, that is management of cash flow, short-term borrowing and investment, the working capital management, that is management of cash, inventory, and other. Finance performs so many functions within the organization, among which are providing financial information analysis to support decision-making, managing the organization financial resources, ensuring compliance with financial regulation, advising on financial strategy, providing financial oversight, facilitating fund raising activities and ensuring transparency in financial reporting. Objective finance objectives. The finance objective is not different from the objective of the firms. The primary objective as we mentioned earlier is profit maximization or wealth maximization. So while the secondary objective of finance are liquidity, that is to provide liquidity for the operation of the firm, solvency to ensure that the firm outlive its owner and growth in size then risk management, identifying risk and finding a way of mitigating or reducing those risks. And the truth of between these financial objectives are whether to pursue profit maximization or wealth maximization. And we know profit maximization has its disadvantages. We said earlier the name profit itself is vague and uh, it does not consider time mean of return. The wealth maximization, whether to pursue an objective to maximize shareholders, but at the end of the day, then the issue of liquidity 
trading and profitability. Whether them should pursue or keep liquid asset or pursue profitability objective, then whether to pursue growth and without giving credence to risk or looking at risk when pursuing growth objective. And the issue of solvency and liquidity also is very important in the trade-off between risk and return because we said the higher the risk, the higher the return. Then financial markets are mechanism through which buyers and sellers of financial assets such as bonds, stocks and currencies and commodity come together to exchange this asset. We have primary markets which are markets where we buy a uh, where market for a listing of shares by companies directly in the market whether it is initial share or a direct offering. And we have secondary markets that is market where shares are traded or debt are traded between the investors. The financial market can also be further divided into a capital market that is the market for long-term securities such as stocks and bonds money market that is the market for short-term uh, investment like treasury bills and commercial papers we have the derivative market that is the market for financial contracts such as options and futures and finally foreign exchange market buying and selling of currencies then we have financial instruments which are various types of financial assets that are traded in the financial market types are we have equities which could be stock or share that represent ownership taking a business and we have bonds which are debt security that represent loan to a company we have derivatives which are financial contracts that derive their value from underlying asset this underlying line asset could be stock bond commodity currency and the common types are options and futures and swaps and we have commodities which are physical goods such as precious metal agricultural product energy and energy product that are traded in the financial market and we have currency which are medium of exchange used in different countries. They are also traded in financial market to facilitate international trade and investment. And we have real estate, which are ownership of land and building, and it's also traded in financial market. And finally, we have mutual funds and exchange traded funds, which are investment vehicles that pull money from multiple investors to buy a diversified portfolio of security. The financial environment are various factors, institutions, and systems that influence the functioning of financial market and the overall economy. So the components of financial environments are the financial markets. It is the market where stock, bonds, derivatives are bought and sold. Financial institutions, which are banks, insurance company, investment funds that provide financial services to individuals, businesses and government. We have regulatory bodies like the Security and Exchange Commission and the Central Bank of Nigeria. Then we have monetary policy, that is the control of the supply of money, interest rate and inflation and we have physical policy fiscal policy which is control which controls spending taxation and borrowing and we have economic factors such as gdp growth inflation unemployment and exchange rate which influences financial market interest rate and investment decision and we have international factors like crisis in sudan and the uh, ukraine that we are facing recently or the issue we had with the corona or subprime mortgage issue in the u.s so thank you for listening if you enjoyed this lecture kindly subscribe to our youtube channel at data analytica like and comment the video and tell us where we can improve on thank you for listening <music>